it was a no-brainer. The program was a no-brainer. Stipend, scholarship money, a job guaranteed. We were looking at a better way to recruit teachers and build capacity of our teachers. The rate that we need teachers is insurmountable. I mean, people are not going into the profession anymore like they used to. When I began teaching, I didn't have a lot of support. I had my credential program, but I got my key my, the first day and said, go. And I thought I was prepared, and I wasn't. As a district, uh, we constantly reflect upon how education is changing and how the, the art and science of teaching is changing. Absolutely, the profession has changed over the years. The stakes are higher for the adults and for the students. There's so much to learn. There, there's so much more than I could have imagined. Sometimes from a first year teacher, it's kind of like you're just trying to stay afloat. But I feel like this program has given us the opportunity to already do our floating. At CSUB, you're getting your theory classes for what you need to do for the credential program. But being able to come into the classroom, you get a, the real life experience of what it's going to be. It does allow us to get insight that we would never see as um, in the traditional program, it really allows us to enter into a classroom and get that hands-on experience that you need for more than just the seven weeks they give you. you. We get a whole year. They're there from the first day of school with a mentor all the way you know, to the end of school. So they get to experience everything along with us. What does the first day of school look like? Parent-teacher conferencing, back-to-school night. You know, all of those little things that are expected of teachers that you don't get in a traditional program. So many children come to the classroom with such a variety of needs. And some of those needs are very different than what I have seen before. But of course I'm starting to learn about strategies and differentiated instruction. Mr. Rotherham, it's interesting the amount he knows about children, where they're at in their learning, why they're saying or doing the things they're doing. So rather than having a very general approach to teacher preparation, it's contextualized in what is actually happening in that district. We have learning levels that um, cross very wide spectrums in our district. So students who are at risk, significantly below grade level, so I have to know how to scaffold instruction to meet their needs. I do think because of the community becoming more diverse, that there's more of a need for preparation that's very grounded in the actual demographic that they're going to be teaching. All the data points when you compare students in our program versus administrators in the district who come back and say I want to hire the residents. Um, they come to us their first year of teaching and they look like second year teachers. As a district we are invested that this is the right model to grow teachers. The economics definitely is more costly. The output of high quality teachers in our classrooms is easily worth uh, the, the monetary cost. They have really gone above and beyond what any other program can offer. It's just a great community as far as learning. I'm learning just as much as the residents do. They're bringing in people that are going to work, potentially work for our district, so why not give them the real experience? We need good, qualified teachers, and this program is just a great stepping stone for that to happen.